Hello, my name is Garrett Hall, and I'm excited to welcome you to the first of our multi-part tutorial on using brownie. If you came here looking for delicious brownie recipes you can make at home, this is not quite what you're looking for, but you should stick around anyway. This tutorial might change your life, not for anything I'm going to say, but because brownie is magical. If you are not familiar with smart contract development, it's a great time to get into it. And if you are familiar with smart contract development, but for some reason you're not using Brownie, it's gonna provide you a comprehensive suite of tools that's gonna to level up your development capabilities. This tutorial is gonna be released as several multi-part videos. This video is gonna focus on what Brownie is, a high level overview of Brownie. Future installments are gonna cover installation and usage. So if you already know what Brownie is and you don't need to get any more hyped, feel free to skip forward. However, if you want to get hyped, just read what any user of Brownie is going to say. It's so easy to use Brownie. It's so easy to install and get started. The documentation is very clear. And the best part about Brownie is if you use it, you can still go back to whatever you used before. It's just Brownie so great, why would you do that? A bit of an overview of smart contracts for those of you who are here searching for recipes. Smart contracts are defined as decentralized programmatic value transfer and storage. So smart contracts are great because unlike traditional web pages, they're really easy to move and send money around and store it. Because they're decentralized, it means that once they're deployed, they can't be deleted. This means it's a very safe place to launch a wide variety of apps. And once they're out there, they're out there. Of course, smart contract development comes with some pitfalls because of this. Smart contracts have come a long way from their origins, which are arguably vending machines. A vending machine is like a smart contract in that once it's deployed, it just sits there waiting for instructions. Once someone comes along, puts in a dollar bill and types in C3, the smart contract executes. It decides if that means you want a Diet Coke or a Gatorade, and it delivers it appropriately. This has been very useful and it's quenched a lot of people's thirst, but smart contracts have come a long way since then. They've really started taking off in the past few years. And in particular for this tutorial, we're gonna focus on smart contracts within Ethereum. Ethereum is the second largest blockchain with over $200 billion in value. And it's the only one that natively supports smart contracts at this size. There was over 10,000 tokens deployed on Ethereum which means that Ethereum contains entire economies built into it. The primary programming language used to deploy smart contracts remains Solidity. Solidity was launched in 2014. It's a Java-like environment and it's Turing complete. A newer entry is Viper. Viper was launched in 2018. It provides a more Pythonic interface and for security reasons, it's not Turing complete. A Turing complete program is haltable. It might run an infinite loop that will never end. That's not good if you're running a decentralized network. So Viper does not allow infinite loops. And as a result, it's not Turing complete. Brownie will handle both. Remix is the classic editor. It's best for Solidity. You have to use a plugin to use Remix with Viper. And Remix is great. Remix got a lot of people excited about blockchain programming. You can access it right from the web. It'll store all your contracts. It has simple examples. You can compile directly in it. It's a gorgeous GUI. And when you're ready to deploy and run and test your contract, you can do it right from your browser. This here is going to deploy to my local blockchain. It's going to transact and my contract exists down here. If you want to do heavy duty testing though, this GUI environment can get a little bit confining. Having to scroll around a tiny little sidebar in order to run and get my transactions out of it. It's fine, it's perfectly functional, but it's that sort of example where once you use Brownie, you might never go back to this. Brownie is gonna exist entirely on the command line. It's a comprehensive and complete smart contract development framework, and it gives you everything you need to get your smart contract tested, rock solid, and launched. Brownie is gonna handle deployment, interaction, debugging, and testing. So let's dive into what some of these look like. 
one of the cool things about Brownie is that you can deploy with one simple line of code to the live blockchain, as well as to your local blockchains, all the test nets. And where it gets really exciting is the capability of running a mainnet fork. When you're developing smart contracts, you often want to reference existing smart contracts on the, that are currently deployed to the blockchain. Now, if you're trying to deploy to your local net, these smart contracts don't exist. They might not exist on Ropsten or Rinkeby. Creating a mainnet fork basically takes a live snapshot of the current blockchain, ports it to your development environment, and allows you to program against it. So it's very useful if you're trying to build smart contracts, interact with existing deployed contracts. Brownie has its own built-in console. This is a pretty powerful ability to let you run one-off scripts, see what's going on, and if the code works, copy and paste it into your code. Brownie also has an interactive mode when it's running tests, which means if the tests fail, it'll drop you right in the console at the exact state. This means that you can query all the variables involved, see what's going wrong, gives you an interactive environment with which you can fix everything. Debugging is also fantastic. When you write your tests, it's going to provide a comprehensive coverage map to show you exactly which tests are failing. You can divide your tests up into several files, and it will give you a full summary of which tests are failing and why, so you can load them up. It also provides the capability of doing integrative tests. This means instead of writing a test with a fixed value, you can let Brownie pick the value for you. It'll pick random values for as many trials as you want, and it'll tell you which values caused and triggered the failure. And finally, the testing is going to provide you with a results coverage GUI. This means if you want to check the comprehensiveness of your tests, not only will it give you a full report, it'll actually show you every single line of code with a green to red display of how well your testing is covering the code. So you can make sure that you've tested every nook and cranny of your smart contract before you've deployed it. If you'd like to learn more, we've pasted all these links in the show notes. As we mentioned, the documentation is fantastic. So if you visit the ethbrownie read the docs.io, you'll be able to get started much quicker than this video. You can also browse the code base. It's also very clean, github.com slash ethbrownie. The community is very active. You can reach them on Gitter and on Twitter. And on top of all this, one of Brownie's creators and the absolutely legendary Ben Hauser has created a fantastic tutorial series on Medium. It's highly recommended, and we're basing a lot of our tutorial here through these videos off of his work. So we owe him a tremendous debt. We look forward to seeing you in the next video where we will get started with installing Brownie on your local machine.